This is Camp Purdy from NetIQ, and with me I have Matt Ely from the Attachment Group. And Matt does access management for all attachment. And what I thought we'd do today in this discussion is talk about lessons learned from delivering mobile access to Attachment Group. So before we do that, uh, Matt, why don't you talk about access management today uh, for all of Attachment? Sure, Kent. So today we uh, have a, an access manager installation that covers uh, four different business units, um, about 150 different applications, and we get up to about 6,000 hits per day. So pretty sizable installation. Um, we've invested a lot into it. Um, it's about uh, 15 to 20 years in the making. Yeah, it's pretty cool because it's a, it's a portal where all the employees can go a single place, and from that portal, uh, folks can navigate to whatever application they have. So it's a pretty substantial part of what runs a business. Sales uses it, marketing uses it, uh, developers, almost the entire company uses um, this portal and all the internet services that go with it. So here we have uh, BYOD getting a lot of momentum within the attachment group, all the, all the group, and there becomes a stronger need to get all of those services out to mobile devices, phones, tablets, whatever folks are using. So, Matt, why don't you tell us about the experience that uh, you had with the business guys who came with the BRD problem and request. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, this has been a thing that has been growing and, and I know it's been for a lot of companies as well. Uh, we're no exception. We've had a lot of people who've come to us and said, hey, uh, I've had my mobile device. Um, I don't want it to be controlled by the company. We don't want an, an MDM type of solution, yet I want to be able to use my mobile device to uh, get to my interweb resources, uh, to, to have a convenient way of being able to access what I need to access to get my job done. Yeah, so as a user on a laptop, uh, the interweb is really a great experience. You, you go to one place, you can navigate to where you need to go, but on a mobile device, uh, trying to navigate uh, the exact application and, and uh, move around tended to be cumbersome, so having something that was easy uh, to use on a mobile device was really important to the business. Matt, with Cloud Access, using the Mobile Access app, tell us about the experience that users have, mobile users have, with that new implementation. Okay, yes, yeah. so uh, mobile users uh, found that they had a much more seamless uh, experience uh, with this mobile access piece. Instead of trying to bookmark an application themselves uh, or try to navigate to it and then having to log in every single time, um, they had an experience where they could go into their mobile device, uh, enter in a PIN so that there's some security there, uh, but then they were presented a list of commonly used applications, things that they use day in and day out. And uh, essentially it looks to them just like a, another little app in their um, in their user interface and they can click that and have instant access to what they're trying to use. Yeah, so, so one touch access on an icon takes them right to where they need to be. Uh, single sign on, no fumbling on the, uh, the touch tab keyboard for uh, passwords. It's a really seamless solution. And what's really important for uh, IT and attachment group was there was no data stored on the device itself. That's right, and it was much easier for us to manage as well, so that if we needed to uh, unregister a device, say it was lost or stolen, um, that we could go in and we can uh, revoke access into our interweb from that device, yet we're not managing the entire device, so that makes it a much nicer experience for people who are bringing their own device into the company. Thanks, Matt, for telling us about cloud access and mobile access and how it was used to deliver single sign-on uh, to the interweb for mobile devices and tablets. It was quite helpful there's a good chance that you could use mobile access the same way in your company. We have other videos about this and other access management topics on NetIQ TV.